and welcome to Caravan Escapades. Hope everybody's keeping safe and well. Well, this is a slightly different one. We're only just back from France and we're off again in the caravan. It's less than a week and we're off to the Caravan and Camping Club Torchlight Festival. Uh, well, Wellsby Forest, Claire, I think it is? Wales. Wellsby Forest. We've never been before. It's the first time for us. Uh, we're really looking forward to it. Full on family fun. We've got, I think there's Toya Wilcox, Heather Smalls, Soul to Soul, Bootleg Beatles, plus various other bands and things like that. Um, I think there's cooking demonstrations, there's a, um, a, a forest walk with lots of lights, fairground rides, you name it. But we're heading off. We've got an early bird ticket, so we're there on the Thursday. It actually doesn't start until tomorrow, the Friday. Um, but we thought we'd get there and we're there till the Monday. So we're really looking forward to it, guys, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God, that sounds really <laughs> exciting. We're really looking forward to it, guys, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But we'll come back to you in a bit and we'll share our adventure at the Torchlight Festival with you. So we're here, we're set up, Torchlight 2024, here we come. This is Thursday, this is the early bird day, and wow, is it busy. We've been here since about 10 o'clock. I think you can get on from about 10.30. Uh, but I have to say, all the volunteers, the Caravan and Camping Club volunteers that have been here today helping out, absolutely brilliant, really, really efficient. One of the things they did do uh, to make it a lot easier, they sent us a very good information pack before we arrived. Uh, one of the things they put in the information pack, and I don't know whether you can see it over here on the windscreen, is this torchlight, let me show you a bit easier, is this torchlight brown Thursday. So we're in the brown field or poppy field. So that made it a lot easier. There was no paperwork. It literally, from the moment we entered the site, we were just guided straight to our location. As you can see, it has got a little busier. Um, so we were here at 10.30, it's now two o'clock. There wasn't that many fields. Sorry, there wasn't that many people here, but there are more people here now. More and more people arriving. Uh, the festival starts at, I think, 12 o'clock tomorrow. Uh, if we come again next year, we'll certainly be here on the Thursday. We'll be here nice and early as well, just so we can get set up and get sorted. This is our setup. We've put some lights. We've got the light pole out. I don't know whether uh, people will approve, but this festival is all about lights and people have been encouraged to put lights out and decorate their campsite or their pitch with lights. One thing I will say, it probably looks a little bit cramped, but you know what? It's not. We've got a huge pitch here. Um, we've all the way from that side all the way over to there and it's pretty much the same all the way along basically you're going in one way and out the other way see there's no need to unhitch to get on your pitch it's been really really good well nothing really much apart from people arriving is happening but what we're going to do we're going to go take a wander have a look around and we'll come back to you later on oh, I'm not sure where we are this certainly gives it away torch light so we're just having a wander around see what's going on in this first day that's not really a day so Darcy May's asked if we can come along and do the torch light trail I'd have liked to have done it when it's a bit dark and we'll probably come back but here it is so it looks reasonably impressive so far so we're heading in here are just some of the many displays out here in the woods very impressive I think what we'll probably do is come back later or come back one other evening when it's a bit darker and you can see it to its more full of effect. So we're going to take another walk down to the torchlight trail just as it starts to get dark. Uh, but showing you our pitch with some of the lights. So we've got our light pole going there. We've got uh, the lights in the canopy. Uh, we've got some solar lights here which haven't, there we go. So they're going to come on uh, in a bit and we've got the flashy lights and then we've got the little lights around by the guy ropes so let's take a wander up there and see what it's all about or see what it's like when it's a bit darker what I'll do is I'll show you um, a map of the site because it is quite a large site with different areas different camping fields um, you know there's camping fields all over here there's camping fields over there there's camping fields right down that road and off to the left 
there's camping fields all the way over there. I think Claire said, and I need to check the figures, there's about 8,000 people here this weekend. Uh, so it's going to be busy, it's going to be full on, but there's lots and lots going on with different stages, different activities, all sorts of things. So we'll head off to the Torchlight Trail and we'll see if we can show you a bit of that. So you see this right around the site where people have gone to a lot of effort to create some really fantastic flag displays, just like the one we've got here with these guys. So we can see that and I think they're finishing off putting some final touches with some buntings, but there are all sorts of flag displays all over the site. So one of the things um, that Darcy May is doing and is here for the other kids is this woodland creature quest. Uh, can you find the woodland, woodland creatures? It's very much like orienteering. Um, so they've got these different creatures that they have to uh, find. When they find them, there's one. Oh, so here's one here, look. Um, and that's got a stamper on it and basically you stamp that. And then once you've done them all, um, I think you get a prize, is that right? Yeah. Like you, get you get something. A badge. You get a badge, so you take it back. So that's just something small and simple for the kids to do as they explore around the site. So just come over to Club Bar area just to give you a quick show, but I have to keep it short because the music's playing. We don't want a copyright strike. So there's the disco, different stage of various things that are going to go on in there. Some of the food outlets are on. And this is Thursday night before anything actually starts view of the marquee, oh there it is, let me put it in better view, view of the marquee and the stage over there, that doesn't look too bad, they've dressed it up with lots and lots of uh, rags which sounds a bit daft but they're very colourful rags and it really does look quite impressive, what I might do is try and get a shot when there's no music playing. So you remember the torchlight from earlier on, there it is, illuminated. So we're back here at the Torchlight Trail. Now it's, well, dusk is, dusk is upon us now, so it's going to be far more effective. So we're going to head on in.
So I'm just out of the torchlight trail. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Hopefully you could see some of it. Um, I'm not sure what I'll do yet, and you'll know by the time you watch this bit anyway. I'm either going to do it as a speeded up bit, or I'm going to do it in real time. But there was a couple of bits where they were playing music, um, so I might just have to kind of cut that audio. The rest of the time, they were playing kind of woodland, animal sounds, those sorts of things. Where I'm stood at the moment is the campfire stage. So there's various different things going on here over the next few days, particularly the cooking demonstrations with Andrew Dickens. Um, Andrew Dickens is always at the NEC shows doing various different cooking demonstrations on how you can cook when you're out camping, caravanning, motorhoming on your barbecues, caddocks, that sort of thing. So definitely worth catching up with. I'm not sure how well this will come out and it probably won't come out very well at all but I just want to give you an idea of all the different kind of lighting. This is just a section of the campsites and what it looks like with all the different lights. We've got lasers here. Look at it down there. Poles, lights everywhere. Good morning from Torchlight. Wow. What a difference a day makes. Look at the weather, absolutely fantastic. The sun's out, uh, it's all shiny, it's nice, we're all excited. We had a great night, we slept relatively well. Um, didn't go to bed till late. The only downside, I guess, is a big old fat generator just over there. Um, you could probably hear it now, but thankfully it wasn't too bad in the caravan, just a, uh, you know, a hum, a slight hum in the background. So we had not too much of a bad sleep. Uh, I'm going to get the breakfast on very, very shortly. The main things really start to kick off around about lunchtime. So yeah, we're looking forward to it. So it's 11 o'clock in the morning. Um, it's not quite opened up yet. Preparations are getting ready. There are a few things going on, uh, happening around and about. And Bailey are here. So Bailey are one of the main event sponsors. So they're here, they've got a motor home. Uh, they've got a competition going on. So it's at Bailey are here with a, a motor home. We've got a, we've got a motor home, they've got a camper van, of course they have. So Bailey are here with their camper van and probably one or two other bits. And you can see their name about on various different bits of this Bailey stuff over there. In fact, they've got some caravans inside by the looks. So yeah, Bailey are here with a few bits and bobs. Some of the additional activities they've got on for the weekend is the inflatable fun. As you can see, various different bits for the kids to do. Um, slides, pugil type thing, football -y type thing. So there's a few inflatable bits for the kids to have some fun on. So you've also got um, Woosa batteries here, uh, giving battery advice and I guess selling batteries, those sorts of things as well. So there are one or two manufacturers here helping sponsor the event. So the main area has now officially opened. We've got various different stores and we'll wander around in a bit anyway and have a look. You've got Isabella doing their bit there. You've got Falcon Technology, you've got Thetford. Um, looks like some Swiss caravan, Swiss? Swift caravans over there. Um, you've got other various different stalls, flag stalls. You've got some Greek food, some pizza. And then just behind the sound stage here, you've got the main stage. So. This is just one of sta one of the many stages. Things are going to kick off soon. People are obviously running in. Look, getting the chairs set up. They're not going to move from here all day. There, in fact, all weekend. Now they've got the chairs there. They will not move. You know what people are like. Um, it's all been a bit of a mad rush for people to get set up, ready to go. Um, and I bet you those chairs will not move all weekend. There'll be bags on there. There'll be blankets on there. But there won't be people. So that's just a quick review of the whole main kind of arena area before it opens. So you can just kind of tip them in this kind of way. That's a nice thing to do. Right, so we've done two Nutella. Biscoff? Yeah, who likes Biscoff? And that. Give it just a minute or so before you bite into it. <laughs> Lucas, have you had one of the mascarpone ones yet? So having some did great you get it with cooking sessions with Andrew Dickens, yeah, yeah. Um, cool. just while he makes yeah, so I do another sweet pizzas, which have been really, really Does anyone good. want me to do a, a biscoff? 
Yeah, it's all finished and done. Great cooking demonstration again with Andrew Dickens. Uh, Sweet Pete's has really enjoyed that. He's going to be at the NEC. So if you see him at the NEC, do come along and watch out for his demonstrations. So one of the treats, more ways at the Torchlight Festival, is the amazing Camping and Caravanning Club Brass Band. I can't do too much because what will happen is I'll get a subscription strike. But there they are, you can hear them, you can hear what they're up to. Some of the great entertainment that's here at Torchlight. Best out of three, best out of three. If you had a move, Tobin, you'd do it. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. one more time. Yeah. Some amazing stuff going on here. So we've now set up in the main arena area. Um, we've got some chairs set up for the three of us here. Pretty much this is where everything is going to take part, or the main bands, the main things are going to take part. There is a band playing at the moment, uh, a bit of a brass band playing kind of modern tunes. Claire and Dossie mate have gone on a pirate treasure hunt of some sort, um, but you can see plenty of people behind us. Amy on. And plenty of people in front of us. So one of the great things about being at things like Torchlight is when your subscribers call up to you. James, it's really great to see you mate. It's been really good to have a chat with you. Thanks Brilliant. for being here. Thank Thanks you. for the subscription and I hope you have a great time. Thank you very much. Brilliant. Lovely to meet you. You Cheers, too mate. You too. Thank you. Nice one. So while between bands, um, let's have a bit of a catch up. What do I think so far? Of Torchlight Festival 2024. This is our first Torchlight Festival. You know what? It's not bad. It's been full on already, and we're only uh, five o'clock on Friday, and it only kicked off uh, really about 12 o'clock. Um, this is the first time we've been in the arena. We've done quite a lot already. Uh, there's lots to do. We've wandered back and forth to the caravan. But yeah, not a bad festival at all. Um, I think we'll be looking to do more of these, uh, particularly the family orientated festivals. There is a lot to do, but it's a nice, relaxed atmosphere. You can either go full on with the music and all those sorts of things, um, or you can find the sort of chill out stuff to do. Uh, there's plenty of displays, but it's not a big, massive, um, what would you call it, a big massive full-on festival. Uh, it definitely does have a relaxed atmosphere. Everybody's having a good time. It's not crowded. Um, I mean, what's, what's Claire and Darcy May doing? I mean, Darcy May, uh, she's been making lanterns and now she's gone on some pirate treasure hunt. So she's having a good time. I think tomorrow uh, it's fairies. There are different workshops. There was the, um, the sort of technical workshop. So you can ask the experts about issues you might have with your caravan, motorhome, camping, those sorts of things. Uh, there's a wellness area where there's various bits of yoga and all the sorts of different things and I guess you know you've got Bailey here, you've got Swift here in fact just to update you on that you probably know this anyway uh, but the four main sponsors of the festival are Outwell, Bailey, Swift, uh, Use of Batteries so they're all sponsoring the event but again it's not like uh, a caravan and camping motorhome show anything like that there are a few different displays I haven't seen the Outwell set up yet, so I'll probably go and find that at some point. But yeah, while I'm waiting between the bands, in fact, the next band is the uh, Amy Winehouse experience, so quite looking forward to watching that. Hopefully by then, Claire and Darcy May will be back, because I want to nip off and get an ice cream. see me very well but we're back over here at the campfire stage and it's silent disco time. Um, I used to do these silent discos when I DJ a few years back. They're not silent in any way, shape or form. They're not singing at the moment. There is everybody. They're in the silent disco. 
So we're just heading back from the silent disco. We're heading back over to the main stage. It's about 10 minutes and the headliners for the first Friday. The bootleg Beatles will be starting very, very soon. As I say, it's just before 10 o'clock, as you can see. There's still plenty of folks about. There's the main stage all the way over there. Still a lot happening. So, so far, day one's nearly over, but yeah, not been a bad day at all. Welcome to day two of Torchlight Festival. Um, as you can see, the weather, at one say it's turned, um, but it's a little bit cloudy and overcast. It's still warm, not quite as warm as yesterday. Hopefully there's no sign of rain today, but we are day two of the festival. It's Saturday, Saturday morning, so we're going to head off and find out what we're going to get up to today. So one of the other highlights here at the Torchlight Festival is the vintage caravan displays. Um, you can see them around here. So there's various different vintage caravans and we just had the privilege of having a tour of the one down in the bottom and it is in use it is their only caravan it is the caravan they use all the time and i think that's a great thing about these vintage caravans and people that are involved in vintage caravans is that they do use them they are simply not just display pieces they use them to go and have their holidays in We've taken a wander down to the Outwell Marquee, uh, where there's a few camping essentials. They've got the bits set up for you here. Uh, it's mainly tables, chairs, um, sleeping bags, a bit of gas, that sort of thing. And that's out. Uh, it's one of the areas, one of the camping zones. Um, wait till I come outside. A little bit disappointed, actually, with that. It's been advertised as all your essentials, everything else, all your camping needs, all that sort of stuff. It was a bit <laughs> <laughs> to be it fair, like they've like run out they've got a big massive marking. You think well, they've, uh, they've got a load there? I mean, maybe they have had a bit of a run on things, and there is a big display on the side with tents. But as one of the major sponsors of the festival, I suppose maybe it's just me, but I was suppose I was expecting a big yeah, exactly the camping. The, 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 the only, lights to put on the end of yeah, the Yeah, it was just, stuff, well, I did see a really couple of twinkly lights, but there wasn't, you know, it was it was camping chairs and sleeping bags and, and that sort of stuff. I, I guess... Water bottles is what you need. Yeah. Water bottles as well. Well, they were selling water bottles as well, but I suppose I just expected to see a camping accessory shop, but anyway, but that's here, and I suppose it has been quite useful for some people, and maybe they have had a rush on things. So we're going to wander up and take a look at some more of the festival. Claire and I are just talking as we're walking back about the accessory shop and um, I know what I was expecting. I guess I was expecting like the accessory stalls you see at the NEC show, that sort of thing. I, I was just expecting a bit more. I mean, it's perfectly fine. Well, and I sponsors. But yeah, they are one of the main sponsors and it was sold here for all the accessories or it was explained to us that uh, it would be a store with all the accessories, all your essentials. Anything you need, you won't have to go without while you're here. I mean, we're fine, we've got everything anyway, but I just like looking at camping accessories. <laughs> As I've said before, one of the great things about coming to events like this is when you meet your subscribers. Say hi to Kevin and Angela. Kevin and Angela, it's great meeting you guys. I hope you're enjoying yourself having a great time. We are. Enjoy your videos. Thank you very much. That's very kind of you to say. Thank you. Yeah, so we're still here at Torchlight. Locking it down with soul to soul. Welcome to day three of Torchlight. Here it's the final day of entertainment. We are here till tomorrow as well. But people are starting to get set up. People are starting to fill the arena. Darcy May's gone off to have her face painted. So we're looking forward to an exciting day. There's a few bands we want to see. The Kate Bush Experience. We've got Toya. We've got um, Heather Smalls. And there's a talk down in the campfire uh, about going away on adventure holidays with kids. So we're looking forward to that. And we'll come back to you in a bit. So I, I, because I'm at home a bit more, a lot more really with the kids than Andy is, it's not really my style to sit there and stay at home, not do anything. We've got a perfectly good van on the driveway. Let's go somewhere. But like Andy said, I'm not going to go miles and miles. I'm not driving from here to the Outer Hebrides 
for a holiday with my kids. From a music point of view, there is a good mix of everything, particularly here with the Camping and Caravanning Club's very own brass band. Making for a nice sunny afternoon listening to the brass in the bar. We're now watching Cloud watching the music of Kate Bush. Very, very impressive. Just wandering back to the arena after nipping back to the caravan for some tea we had some chicken wraps we made those there that is one handy thing I guess that you can avoid some of the higher food prices um, particularly from the storeholders that sort of thing but we need to try and spread our time a bit really this evening so uh, we've got the sea shanties on down in the um, campfire stage then we've got to sort of head back up to the main stage because we've got Toya, uh, Toya at 8 o'clock, then probably nip back to the sea shanties and then back up for the headline of Heather Smalls finishing, I think, around about 11 o'clock tonight. And we're stopping here. We're not in a mad rush to go in the morning either, particularly as the fact we only live about half an hour, 30, 35 minutes away. So we can get up, take our time taking things down and head home. So we've just come down to the campfire stage, uh, very different than from before. It's the shanty, sea shanty songs, the old time sailors. That's them just setting up on the stage there. We'll take a look at this. Look at the crowds that are in now for this. All the way over there. So hopefully it should be a good gig. It's Monday morning, torchlight is over, um, we've had a great time, everybody's started to pack up, we've started, uh, we need to be off by around about 12, as you can see a few people have gone already, um, but yeah, great festival, we've had a good time, enjoyed ourselves, one of the big pieces of news though, at, right at the end, they announced there will be no Torchlight 2025, but it will be coming back in 2026, uh, and watch the club socials for more news. What might that news be? I have no idea. But the rumours around Torchfest, yes, there are rumours. The rumours going around Torchfest is that it will be moving to another location. Um, will it be bigger? Will it be better? More than likely. Um, does it need a bigger venue? I think it probably does. Just from the stage area, I wouldn't say there was chaos. Um, but it was just a little bit cramped and felt quite cramped and enclosed, particularly for compared to other open air venues that I've been to in the past. But let's watch out this news. If I hear of any rumours, um, particularly along the way, I shall let you know. Maybe things will start to leak out come the October show, but let's see. Anyway, I'm gonna crack on, carry on packing up, and we'll come back to you shortly. So that's us, we're all connected up, we're all done, we're all ready to go home and head home. And if you look around here, we are one of the last to leave. Most of the main field is now empty. The few vans that you see up here are camping, caravanning, club 
members um, who have been here volunteering for the weekend. But yep, yeah, that's us. We're done. Our first festival. Will we do another one? Watch this space. So thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Hit that notification bell. You'll be notified when we put out more videos. And we'll see you very, very soon.